Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we will cover API view in Django REST framework. So like uh, we can also write class based views and function based views in normal Django framework, right? And uh, also in Django REST framework, we can do the same. Like we can also write function based view and also we can write class based views. Okay. And uh, the difference between normal view and this API view is in API view, uh, the response which we are getting and also the request which we are we are passing to the framework which will be in a specific Django REST framework re request and response. So let's say uh, in 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 Django we are actually passing and sorry we are actually responding our response with this HTTP response, right? But in Django REST framework, when we are using API view, then it will use this uh, Django REST framework's re response and request. Okay, so that is the thing which we need to uh, understand when we are dealing with this API view. Okay, and uh, like there are also lots of view views which we need to deal with the uh, Django REST framework. But this API view is the like lower abstracted view. We can say so. Like uh, we can also. Uh, write some custom code means uh, the thing is this is a very uh, basic uh, implementation so let's say if we are working with mixins if you don't know about mixin don't worry but uh, it it provides a uh, like very uh, effective way to write our uh, our views in a very less code but when we deal with this api view then uh, this will this will provide us the all the handler sorry request handlers like get post put handlers so that we can like write our custom logics in a very effective way so yeah that's all about that introduction about this api view so now i will try to create a simple application and i will implement this api view into our django project so let's get started so uh, i'm having already one simple project into my into my uh, visual studio code okay so now in this project, let me go into localhost 8000. So if I'm here, as you can see, this is the simple project. So if I'll log in to this, uh, then we'll get some interface. So we are not worrying, worrying about this uh, like, uh, application. Now we will implement our uh, API view into this application. Okay, so let's get started. So now what we'll do, we will actually create one model. So now let's go into our post and uh, now let's create a model okay so now i'll just copy and paste this model for our uh, convenience okay so here what we are doing actually we are creating one simple model which is mobile and in this we can see that we are having a name description and price field and also we are like uh, defining the str method so it will uh, reflect the name of the mobile into our Django admin panel. So this is what we have done. Okay, so now our model is ready. So name is having care field, description having care field and price is having float field. Okay, so yeah, that's all about this model. So now uh, after creating a model, now what we need to do, now we also need to write a serializer for this. So if you don't know what serializer, then in Django REST framework, like uh, we have to return JSON response. So uh, if we are querying from our database, uh, so that kind of thing, uh, we need to convert the convert those thing into Python objects. So serializers uh, we use in Django REST framework to serialize the data, so that can be rendered easily into our uh, HTML page. Okay, uh, and we can also like generate. Uh, JSON responses very effectively. So that's why we create serializers into Django REST framework. So I have already created one serializers.py file. So here I just try to uh, copy and paste this thing. Okay. So let me paste this thing. And uh, if you are using model serializer instead of this simple serializer class, okay, so then you need to write some meta class here. Instead of writing this way, you can also write uh, like uh, meta class and you can pass the pass the fields which you want to add okay but we will follow this serializer thing okay so now 
we have added this uh, fields here okay uh, this is the same fields uh, structure like our models but we are just uh, accessing those fields with this serializers and also we are like creating this uh, function called create so when we are po when we will post the data then it will validate the data and it will like uh, create the instance of our uh, data into our django models okay so that's why we are adding this method so this will be helpful when we will pass post method into our uh, api okay so now that's all about this so now we have created the serializers uh, mobile serializer okay so now what we need to do like to show our model into our django admin panel we need to register this model so i'll just uh, open my admin.py and here i will register this model so i'll just import this and uh, i'll just register this model uh, admin.site.register mobile okay so as you can see we have imported this and we are just registering that model so then what we need to do now we need to create apis for this okay so actually we are creating two apis so if we'll go let's say we'll go into localhost slash mobiles then uh, in this page we'll have our all the mobiles uh, related data okay and uh, we can like uh, we will add i think two methods into this so like get and post method so we can get the mobiles and we can post the mobiles into this api okay and uh, another api uh, which will be something like this so localhost 8000 mobile and slash uh, id of that mobile so in that api actually we will uh, have three methods uh, sorry four methods get put patch and delete okay so we can get the like uh, data of particular uh, mobile we can also put the data and also we can like update uh, some part of data with patch method and also we can delete the met, uh, delete the data so that's why we are following this two apis here okay so you can also put all the things into one uh, api but now we will follow this way okay so now what i will do i just uh, copy this uh, urls okay and i'll just uh, open my urls.py file and here like uh, i'll paste those urls okay so as you can see that uh, we have two urls here right and uh, mobile list and uh, mobile detail okay so now what we need to do now we'll just copy this view as well okay so i'll just copy this and then i'll explain you how and what we are doing okay so now i'll just copy this and then i'll i'll paste that thing into my uh, views.py file okay so now we have successfully added that right so now uh, now what we need to do we need to run the migrations okay so i will open my terminal here okay and i'll do the migration so now i'll just uh, close my server and then i'll do make migrations so as you can see that we have created one model in our migration file called mobile okay then what we need to do we need to migrate this uh, uh, this uh, data right so now i'll just uh, uh, do make migration sorry python manage.py migrate okay so now it got migrated now what we need to do now we need to run the server okay if you haven't created super user then i am uh, preferring you to create super user but i have already one super user so that's why i'm not creating that okay so i'll just run my server and then i'll just go into my localhost slash admin okay slash admin and uh, i'll just uh, register with my credentials okay okay so now as you can see now i'm in my admin panel so i'll go into this mobiles uh, as you can see we are having this mobile model here and i'll just go, go in this and uh, i have already added some data here so also you can add some more data so let's say i'm adding uh, let's say uh embedding poco okay and uh, this is poco mobile okay and we are uh, giving price is 15000 and i'll just save that okay so as you can see we are having three uh, mobiles into this so now <coughs> what i'll do i'll just go in this api localhost slash mobiles okay 
so as you can see we are having this uh, data here uh, let's say like as we are passing get request means we are uh, we are hitting this uh, localhost slash mobiles api so it is kind of get request right so we are getting this data into our page okay and uh, now i'll just open my postman side by side and uh, here like uh, we can also add more data and also we can add data from here but i'll choose uh, postman to pass the data okay so now i'll open postman so now we will add data from postman and also uh, we will uh, like trigger second api which will be localhost 8000 slash mobile slash id okay id of that particular uh, mobile so now as you can see we have opened this uh, postman so i'll try to like hit this so let's say localhost 8000 slash mobiles so as you can see in get request we are actually getting the uh, like all the data of our mobile okay and now similarly i just uh, open a new tab here and here like i'll choose post request and then i will just copy one data from here okay so let's say we are copying this and uh, i'll go in that second tab and here in body uh, like in row in json uh, select json here okay and just uh, i'll just copy this and uh, then uh, i'll just uh, and name of this mobile as uh, let's say uh, Xiaomi okay Xiaomi okay and uh, let's say let's say we are writing description as uh, Xiaomi coolest phone okay ever and we'll pass uh, price as 20,000 okay and let's uh, click on this send okay so as you can see like we got 2 plus sorry 201 created successful response so now what we'll do i go back to my uh, localhost 8000 mobiles uh, uh, api and i'll just trigger that get request so as you can see now we have four data so earlier we had three data so that uh, that data also got added into this uh, this uh, api means this our database that data got added okay so if i'll go back into my admin panel and if I refresh this, then as you can see that we have this Xiaomi 12 here as well. So yeah, that that's about that. And uh, I'll also try to uh, show you the second URL which we have. So let's say I'll go in uh, this and I'll just uh, pass the ID, let's say one, then I'll just uh, trigger get request. So now uh, ID one is not found, right? So let's say, uh, let's say I'm passing two uh, let's say let's see we have any idea of uh, our mobile with value 2 so as you can see with uh, with uh, 2 uh, id means uh, id number 2 we have this data okay so that's how you can like uh, get the data partic with particular id so also you can like uh, use delete uh, method to delete the data so let's let's uh, do that so i'll just choose delete and I'll just delete this uh, iPhone 13 Pro Max, also uh, which is having two as an ID. So I'll just uh, send this request. Okay. So now, as you can see, we got 204 no content. So if I'll go back uh, to my uh, main API, which is localhost slash mobiles, and here, as you can see, we are having currently four data. So I'll if uh, send the request, then as you can see, now we are not having that iPhone 13 Pro Max, right? So that that object got deleted so if we'll go back to the admin panels and then also you can see that we are not having that uh, like uh, mobile anymore right so that's how you can like uh, uh, trigger the request and you can uh, you can taste the apis from this postman okay we have also uh, put and patch method here to update the data okay so that's that you can uh, try uh, with your uh, our uh, like uh, way okay so that's all about uh, this uh, thing this api view i hope you understood the concept uh, like this is very general uh, api general view in django rest framework to like write our logic uh, we can also use mixins generic view and all the things 
but when you are starting when you are beginner then you need to prefer this uh, api view in django rest framework so that's all about this video i hope you like the content thank you i'll see in the next video till then keep sharing keep loving bye